Welcome to the illustrious class of 2021. I am here with you today to celebrate this great achievement, to commemorate all of the effort and dedication that has brought us to this point. I am here because of the sacrifices my parents have made. Gracias, mami y papi. And the immense support that I've had from people who might not be blood, but are definitely family. And the encouragement from countless educators whose journey of inspiration and impact I can only hope to emulate. But I am also here because I have been both students. I have been the student who was disengaged, the one who meekly observes and makes comments only when spoken to or directly asked. I have been the one who doesn't know how to share the floor, not out of malice, but because I'm so excited to share all about last night's homework assignment. I have been both students, the one who is captivated and inspired by every single syllable of the English language that is teaching me about my very own existence. But you see, I've also been the student who asks questions because, well, my mom and dad were talking about that last night and what you're saying ain't the truth. I am here because I have been both students. And now I want to be a teacher because I recognize that as someone who attended one of the lowest performing school districts in the state of Colorado, that I could have easily been one of those students who falls through the cracks. I recognize that throughout my K-12 education, I was able to access the resources and community and family support to be considered a success story. Given that by all measures, I was merely a student who worked hard and earned scholarships in order to make my private education at AU possible. I want to be a teacher because when I arrived at AU, I realized how drastically underprepared I was compared to my peers. I realized that the achievement gap is so much deeper and so much more complex than what my teachers mentioned in hushed tones at my Title I school district growing up. I want to be a teacher because when I arrived at AU, I finally understood why students are referred to as case numbers. I want to be a teacher because I've heard the stories and have seen firsthand the detrimental effects that an educator can have on a student by simply not believing in them. And you see, my college education has taught me many, many things, but one being that the broken souls who don't believe in others simply didn't have someone who believed in them. To everyone who has at one point believed in me, thank you. Thank you for advocating for me. To everyone who has invited me to their table or taken me in when I had nowhere else to go, words cannot express my gratitude. And to the secondary education cohort, it was an honor to learn from you this year. School of Education, class of 2021, we are here, finally. No matter your reasons for becoming an educator or your personal journey, I hope that pieces of my story resonate with you. Thank you for allowing me to sing my song and thank you for listening. As we walk into our classrooms this fall, I hope that you not only accept the challenges that you are met with, but that you do something about it. I hope that you seek out every single student under your guidance and that you ensure that they feel like they're a part of your community. Believe me when I say it makes a difference. And as one advisor at AU said to me once, now Carol, don't be so cliche. But you see, to me it's simple. And yes, you've heard it all before. But my wish is that as you enter the workforce and you change your LinkedIn title to educator and change maker. I hope that you genuinely understand the responsibility that comes with helping shape young minds. Thank you for your attention today. God bless you all and God bless America.